What? Hi, Bugs. As a teen, my hobby was watching shows. My credentials are this one, Excel sheet, I like to yap and I'm the Lulu. So I put together a video of a TV show ships. I believe should have been Endgame. Before you condemn me to the lowest pits of hell, uh, it's just my personal opinion. You're welcome to go scream your hate into the void that is living in that little deep dark part inside your heart. Now, without further ado, on with the video. Scott McCall and Kira Yukimura, or Skira from Teen Wolf. Please do not come for me. I never liked Alison. I have a friend who's gonna kill me for saying this, but I can see how Scott's and Alison's love story was the main point to kind of forbidden love story to kick off the main events of the show. But once they introduced Gira, girl, I was sold. I honestly haven't watched the show in years. I did watch the movie that uh, came out and that solidified my hate for Alison even more. But I wish Kira wasn't just randomly f written out. But the fact that Scott was thrown around in Malia, but in the movie they're not together anymore, because duh, of course they wouldn't be, it just gives me the... And that's why I will defend Kira till I die. Elijah Michelson and Hayley Marshall, or Elijah from the originals. I will admit I did not like Hayley when she was introduced, but now looking back at it, I'm pretty sure that was the point. But the way this ship died will forever be ingrained in my teenage brain. Spoilers follow. I feel like it is one of the ships killed by the writer's incompetence. Elijah, even after everything he went through, would not erase his memory to forget his entire family. The fact that Haley basically dies because of that. Girl. The scene where Elijah steps into the room and Haley thinks she's saved. She's been saved. She is being saved. Just to realize Elijah is not there to help her and ultimately dying is gut wrenching. Then again, I don't know how a hybrid like Haley was killed so easily, but I digress. Clark Griffin and Pelami Blake or Pelarkey from The Hundred. Oh boy, where do I even begin with that one? The TV show got so rarely fucked up that most of the fandom hates it and pretends it didn't even happen. There are aliens, for Christ's sake. Clark majorly fails the test given by the aliens and Bellamy fucking betrays his whole family, friend group. Get not my Bellamy trending on Twitter, am I right? But spoilers, in the books, Belark is endgame. I have not read the books yet, but I plan to just for the justice of getting Belark. Additionally, the actors are literally married in real life. What more can I say? Sky, Daisy Johnson, and Grant Ward, or Sky Ward, from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm, okay, besides the fact that Ward was a double agent for Hydra, terrorist organization, organization huh? bent on war domination, and then later taken over by Hive, a genetically engineered parasite, they made a great couple. Okay, I'm joking. They clearly weren't a great couple, but my teenage brain rooted for them. I will never be over attractive looking chemistry having kind of bad TV show couples that could have been endgame had they been written with a redemption arc, specifically the men. Liv Moore and Chase Graves or More Graves from iZombie. On the topic of couples that uh, were not good for each other, but I will mention briefly for the exact same reason as Skyward is leave and chase. Editing Lisa here. The closest thing I found to their ship name is More Graves, which is uh, very concerning, honestly. Let's return to me yapping again. They do not have a ship name because this is my unpopular opinion. Cause ain't nothing worse than a pick me bitch. So I'm taking the honor of naming their ship. L chase, because Graves fumbled the bag with not getting live. Okay, but besides the hot couple, hot scenes, that's it. Let's move on. Suki Stackhouse and Eric Northman or Sorik from True Blood. Sorry, we're not done with that topic. Just quite yet. And honestly, this whole show is a fever dream, 
Alexander Skarsgård as Eric and all of his 1.94 meters of handsomeness is the main point of this couple. The only defense I have uh, is a couple of edits and of course Eric losing his memory and acting like a little golden retriever. Oh, I love him so much. Cara Sorel and Mon El or Caramel from Supergirl. I gotta be honest with you, I never finished the show, I don't even remember if I saw Mon L played by Chris Wood on screen and I might be a tad bit biased because Chris Wood is one of my favorite actors, but I've seen the edits. And girl, the chemistry, I feel like it's once again good example of writer's fu- because the actors are married in real life. So what's your, what's your sentence for, for her? Electric chair. <laughs> the Doctor and Rose Tyler, 9 rows or 10 rows from Doctor Who. I did not know their ship name was called 9 rows. Christopher Eccleston played the ninth Doctor. That's when their love story began, I guess. That's why. Editing Lisa here. Doctor Who fans, please don't come for me. Might have messed out that since Doctor is technically a one person, the whole ship is called Nine Rows. Turns out when Christopher Eccleston left and David Tennant came, the ship name changed to Ten Rows. I count time with the female leads, not with the doctors, thus thinking that the ship only has one name. So excuse my dumb foolery. Listen, I did not like Rose that much, but that freaking beat scene with Billy Piper and David Tennant as Rose and Doctor. And yes, okay, she got her own doctor technically, but that scene was heartbreaking, okay? I'm still not over it. Fleabag and the priest from Fleabag. I gotta admit, I did not realize that the show's ending is implying that they are not together. And I only realized this when I was looking at edits on TikTok and I went into the comments section and everybody was saying how heartbroken they were over the ending. So I will keep living in my Delulu world and thinking they are endgame. Okay, uh, shout out to the shipping wiki for this video because I couldn't have done it without them and comment down below if there's any TV show ships you believe should have been endgame and deuces. <laughs>